Good morning, everyone. We are having some tea. Pete's not having coffee because we still haven't got him a French press yet. We haven't gone to do that, so I think I'm going to run errands today. people. The batteries are kind of low. I haven't, um, we don't, the fridge isn't even on and the batteries are that low right now. So we're going to get the battery charger. I think what's happening is, number one, we haven't had any wind up here. And also, our solar panels are blocked by the other boats right now, the way they, they park this. So we're going to have to get a charger and really cook them because they're dead as a doornail right now. What's a doornail? So, anyways, we're going to have some tea and some breakfast, and I uh, gotta go to work again. It's going to rain today. That puts a damper on things. Stinks when you haul out and it's going to rain. Anyways, I got a lot of errands I got to run today. Okay. I'll probably take Pete's truck today. I'm doing all the errands just because of the rain. And sitting there. Kind of leaks right there. But what can you do? You know, weather happens. Whether you like it or not. Actually, i got to get my lunch together. Tomato. I think i got bread back here. We make food at home a lot. These are so low. Alright, off to Pete's wood shop. I wonder if I should close all the doors if it's going to rain. I'll at least slide this close. He doesn't do his laundry. He does not do laundry. That's okay. I don't change over the pee jug. Or the poo can. So. There's that. I hate this tarp because then it rains and then all the water stays on the tarp. If we didn't have a tarp down, all the water would drain out onto these rocks and we wouldn't have to be walking around in water. So now, the bus is crowded. It's got all of my sewing stuff in here because we can't fit it on the boat. I gotta figure out something to do with my sewing. Maybe I should make a sewing bag. But the thing is, the material takes up the most space, and I need the material in order to make stuff. But I guess I don't need all the material out all at once. I could take whatever material I need and, uh, and sew it. See, sometimes what I'll do is I'll buy the material in bulk, because it's cheaper that way, you know? And, uh, because this umbrella's not cheap. Sailor's Exchange makes this umbrella cheap. Anyways, I gotta go. We're driving a regular car. It's like, I feel so low in the seat. I wanted to pump the seat up so I could be like higher above the wheel. It's kind of weird, I'm like sitting down in the car. Okay, I got the laundry dropped off. I'm at the, my work now. Um, I'm here early, so I'm gonna get the laundry started. I gotta get Layla out of the back of the truck. And I'm also thinking about maybe wiping this inside of this truck down a little bit. Mosquito. Because it's kind of gross. Needs some washing. Okay, anyways, see you in a minute. Alright. Laundry started. Now to, uh,. Maybe clean Pete's car. Looks like I got a little bit of time to do that, so. Got the inside of Pete's truck all clean. Looks way better. So I'm waiting on that chip to arrive for, uh, in the mail for the GoPro. And then Pete will have his own camera. So right now I'll just kind of show you what I do in a day. Uh, it'll just be a little bit, because... I don't want to spend all my time filming because obviously I'm working, but I thought I'd just show you a little bit of it. And um, and then once I'm all done, you're going to come on a ride with me with for errands. And I, I do want to check on Pete, see how he's doing. He's going to change the oil in the bus.
little better. And then this is all stuff I don't know what to do with, but at least it's somewhat organized. Kind of, sort of. Now one more room, and I'll be done for the day. I have this room to do. I'm all done with work now and um, just checking my emails I see that I have some books I have to sign and send out so I'm gonna ha I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, I was asked to write a message in each of the books so I'm gonna work on that right now and um, you guys can watch <laughs> Alright, the bus. Ahoy! This is the piece on the where the anchor goes, and it had broke, so yeah. you're stacking a bunch of <laughs> lead weights with epoxy to glue it together. I'd show it to you, but it's not quite dry enough yet. There's the leftover foam. Now we gotta use this leftover foam for the bus. So I saw Pete, he uh, he did the oil change on the bus. I wish he would film, he doesn't wanna film, I don't know. Maybe I can get him used to filming, he just doesn't used to it. So he's kinda like, no, I don't wanna do. He also or ordered some wood for the boat so that we could have the wood for the aft cabin when we start working on that. Now I'm gonna run a bunch of errands. The thing I've noticed about this part of Florida is that it gets gray a lot here. Um, laundry's all done. There's a the laundry all done. Okay, got that chore done. Glad I got a car. When we were cruising, doing this sort of thing took a lot longer. A lot of times we would get into a new port and that was the first thing we had to do was get groceries. So we had to learn kind of where any of the grocery stores were. So it was always interesting, and it was, it was kind of fun, you know, that was like the one thing you would do, is as soon as you got to port, you'd be looking for the grocery store. Aaron's first, I gotta get Pete a new French press, because his is broken, so I'm gonna go do that. So I got a French press, I think it's a one cup, I'm not sure, I actually didn't look at that, I probably should have. Oh, a three cup, a three cup French press. I continue on, I guess, and I gotta go to the bank next, so I'll see you guys in just a minute. I forgot, it's quicker to go to the grocery store this way. I was not filming the whole time. I was saying about welcome to being a sailor and coming into society and having to drive around and go to the grocery stores, although you do that when you sail anyway, but work, which is a dirty word in sailor society. What am I babbling on about? I gotta go into the grocery store. <sighs> Here I go. Got some groceries. The sailor in the real world stuff, driving a car around, navigating her way through the sea of trees. Trying to get chores done. Am I recording? I am recording. Trying to make sure that she can eat food and have a good French press and has money. Okay, my last chore. Gotta run into the bank and I'll be right back. for that package to come in. And that's got the little chip in it so that we can use it for the GoPro. Uh, I still haven't arrived yet. That's so annoying. Wait just a minute for it. See if maybe it shows up randomly. Mosquitoes. Got my package. Yee -hee. Now I'm gonna go see Pete. There's the new net for the bowsprit. Cool. So <clears throat> supposedly there's a lot here 
and we can use some of that net for the for the bus as well. So instead of having like a hard thing, we'll actually have a net to go across, like tie it really super tight. Should be kind of interesting. Right. Back on the boat now. I got to grab all the laundry and all the groceries and bring it up the ladder. It's a uh, uh, brother-in-law. Um, he is actually here visiting, so we're kind of hanging out with him. Start putting everything away. And, oh yeah, I meant to show you guys this. I got the chip. Start filming with this thing. I'm stoked. Yeah, we'll find a spot. Alright, Pete. Well, we can just drive and leave you down. Well, I'll drive. No, we'll ride we'll with you. Back. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Layla. Come on. We'll take one vehicle. She just learned how to do this. Come on. She's still Good. learning, actually. Good girl. Ah, look at her. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. <laughs> Good job. Good job. That's awesome. Oh, man. She's a good dog. Going down to different stores. Yeah. We got the laundry up here. Now we're getting all the groceries up. Pete got the battery charger going. So the batteries are doing much better. Much and we gotta go, we got friends that are here and we're gonna go, they actually wanna go out to dinner so we're gonna go out to dinner tonight. So the showers here at the marina are broken. There's no hot water. Darn. It's kind of a bummer only because it's a little chilly tonight. And taking a freezing cold shower does not sound like a good idea. So, now I gotta put some laundry away. It's an ongoing process. I know it. I'm gonna set up my GoPro and see how it works. We're making some tea. And just chilling out for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this thing up. Here I go. Now I should probably charge this little guy for a little while. And then give it a try and see how it works. Okay, there it is charging. That red light should go away and then it will be ready. And hopefully maybe it'll be done charging tonight and we'll give it a try for a minute and see kind of how the videos turn out. Um, if not, I'll try it tomorrow morning. It's exciting. If it works good, will you record tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. I guess it's recording. It's got the red light though. That's kind of blinking, so I don't know if what that means. I think that the red light would like show up on the camera. But uh cool. Hope you guys can see me. It's kind of dark right now. I can't wait to use this thing during the daytime and see how this thing works. Well, anyways, um I'm going to just do this little tiny bit of footage on it just to see what happens with it and uh, put it in my computer and see what it does. Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. This thing's cool. Woohoo!